Hey guys, what's up? Sherry here. So I just decided just to do a reading for you guys. It is still the full moon. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm just getting a strong magne med magnetic message <laughs> to do a reading. So let's see what happens here. All right, so I've actually added some uh, new cards to the deck, um, some chakra cards, so we'll see how they mix in. Um, I think I'm going to do um, a twin flame reading, real quick one. Um, and that way you can see how the male and female aspects are playing out in terms of the full moon energy field. So you could be either the male or the female, depending on, you know, which side of the brain you're working from today. So whatever you resonate with will be your message, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm just going to pull one card from each deck. Uh, so this is the fairy uh, by Lenormand, and then, of course, my deck, okay? All right, so beginning with the feminine recent past position. Oh, nice. So this is the lucky card. You can see she's holding a four-leaf clover there. So um, luck is on, was on your side very strongly. So I'm going to pull one card. <laughs> nice. Oh, my God. That's awesome. So my <laughs> this is the crown chakra. Okay. And obviously this is one of my chakra cards. And this is probably the best chakra card to pull. So <laughs> luck is on... Uh, our side in terms of being on the correct spiritual path um, we feel you know women uh, basically are really connecting to their higher consciousness uh, this could also represent you know uh, being creative um, in terms of um, writing or painting or I don't know just exploring your creative side uh, but Let's see, lucky, lucky, lucky. Hmm. Maybe you just feel lucky to be on this journey, to be one of the people that are actually experiencing, um, you know, this ascension process. It's pretty amazing to be a part of it. Okay, so recent past masculine. Nice, beautiful. So this is an energy of appreciation. Um, so, um, everybody wants to feel needed, uh, and, you know, one way to do that is to show your appreciation by giving gifts. So this could represent some kind of gift. Oh my God. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay. So this is my twin flame 1111 calling card. So, uh, for some masculines, maybe they... They realize that this connection is um, pretty special as well. You know, it's all about awakening uh, to higher levels of consciousness, you guys. Um, you know, that's what the whole purpose of the Twin Flame journey is to awaken, awaken to higher levels of consciousness. And, and that's what you guys help each other do. So maybe he's starting to understand or has un, uh, come to an understanding of how unique and special this relationship or connection is. It, it isn't about union, you know, in the 3D, it's about union in the 5D. So, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Okay, so feminine present position. Okay, so this card talks about uh, transition, I think. Um, it's about an ending and a new beginning. Um, and just using the powerful forces of creation in order to um, manifest a new life. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, so this is the King of Pentacles. Um, so it's a transition card, right? So uh, the King of Pentacles could represent an earth sign, but it's basically the divine masculine energy in his 3D form. So it doesn't really make too much sense. Let me just look at the card description real quick here. So that's eight. 
So these are new cards. I don't really know them very well just yet. Okay, so it says, while traditional meaning and ending, we take it for initiation. Sorry, not transition, it's initiation. Uh, so it's the house of facing your inner demons and looking within yourself to hunt them down. This is the house of the shadow world, where you take a step beyond fear itself and turn to face it. Nice. So this is a house of harnessing great power if the sitter approaches a situation with experience and awareness. Okay. So, um, so what I'm feeling here is that the roles have kind of reversed a little bit. In the Twin Flame reading I just did, the masculine was feeling, you know, kind of unsteady about um, contacting or, or meeting the Divine Feminine in the 3D world. So that's kind of what I'm feeling now on the feminine side, where she's kind of going, um, you know, she's a little fearful of um, having that connection in the 3D. So Spirit is asking you, <clears throat> sorry, to work through those fears and uh, face them head on and, you know, um, purge. And right now it's a full moon, so it's a perfect time to do that. Okay, so the masculine's present position. Hmm. Okay. Again, the card is a little cloudy. So I think that's about um, you know going on a journey and using you know resources in order to. Let me just read it <laughs> instead of trying to guess. Okay, it says, The Mountain Durability. This house relates to and describes the enduring nature of survival and growth. The mountains were carved out of uh, glaciers and stand as a testament to great strength. So this house shows the sitter's essential backbone, a place of sanctuary and protection from hostility. So drawing this card... Or sorry, furthermore, it shows that p the potential for drawing upon hidden resources um, which are naturally available when we are forced to extract them. So yeah, looking for resources. Um, so yeah, it could also represent an obstacle. So finding a sanctuary. Okay, well, let's see what the other card is. Okay, Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles is about shooting yourself in the foot, basically, in order to release yourself from the situation. Uh, so it could be a financial loss of some kind or, um, you know, maybe the, the card also means that you feel left out in the cold. So that's a possibility. Um, so finding resources. Um, you know, finances seem to be a big deal for the masculine. They want to be able to, you know, provide. That's what they do. Um, so maybe you're trying to find balance, um, in terms of your, <clears throat> sorry, your spirituality and the 3D world. Um, or maybe you want to release yourself from something in order to venture out further beyond those walls. Um, I don't know, but those are the possibilities. Okay, so for the near future for the feminine, key interesting okay so let's see what else wow another chakra card so this is the third eye chakra so using your intuition you have the key to connect to your higher consciousness is what I'm seeing here so um, you know really tap into your high priestess goddess powers and um, connect with the full moon tonight you have the key to unlock that door you guys are lit up on this side. Okay, so new f near future for the masculine. Message. Again, you guys are so complicated. i got to look up this one as well. So, yeah, it's about movement forward. So communications. This, is a, this house relates to the sitter's engagement with the world. It could indicate the message that is being transmitted to the world by their behavior so news information innovation and surprise so what is this communication ah so this is the judgment card uh, this is the grand awakening so this is realizing your entire life is just a movie projected in 
on the screen in your own mind, right? So you create the plot, you create the, the um, you know, the actors, the whatever. So this is realizing that you have the power to change reality. And so it represents a rebirth, um, yeah, a grand awakening, a, a, you know, moving to a higher level of consciousness. Um, so communication. Maybe you will receive some form of synchronicity, you know, uh, some kind of sign. Because uh, we've got a 1 here, and then the 11 down here. Um, maybe this re just represents you moving towards your higher calling. Um, or maybe you want to communicate your, uh, your knowledge and wisdom of the journey to somebody. I don't know. It's a little harder picking with less cards, or doing the reading with less cards. Definitely. Okay, um, let's see. For the final, come for the feminine. Nice, okay. So this is cutting away something, putting an end to something so that something new could be um, to, you know, be planted. But it also represents harvest as well. So cutting away. Oh, nice. Six of cups. So this is a reunion card, somebody coming back from the past. Um, so you got two endings. You got one down here and here. So, yeah, okay, well, let's go back to this again. So it's somebody coming back from the past, from childhood or, childhood or a past life, but it represents pure love, innocent love. Um, okay, you know what? I'm pulling one more card. I got to do it. Sorry, guys. Okay, nine of pentacles. Uh, so this is an arrival. Okay, this is uh, getting to that point in your life where you don't have to worry about money anymore. Um, but it also represents harvest. So when you look at this card, you know, it represents harvest as well. So it's almost like something's coming towards you that you wanted. Um, and so this is a manifestation, a 3D manifestation. Um, I mean, it's crying out union <laughs> here, so I don't know. I want to try and keep this as short as possible. Okay, so for the final come for the masculine. Wow, okay. So this is like um, uh, a pit of despair, basically. <laughs> um, you keep working your ass off for these two mice, and they're getting all the reward for it while you're sitting there you know, kind of pissed off, basically. So the card is telling you to look after you. Five of Swords. So this is conflict and defeat. So it's walking away from negative people that are telling you what you're doing, how you're doing it. Um, so yeah, it's kind of a repeated energy here of, of waking up and moving forward towards this different life, this awakened life, or even making that realization and, uh, and then again, once again, deciding to walk away from um, any kind of negativity or sinkhole energy. Uh, resources seem to be, you know, important to you. So I think it's making that realization that if you continue to stay in that situation, you're going to continue to sink uh, further and further into it. So, you, you know, you're considering releasing yourself from it and following your higher calling is what I'm seeing here and the feminine is like zend out to the max but there is this fear here so let go of that fear okay so what is the feminine bringing into the reading or into the union choices okay what choice do you have to make the wheel of fortune so this is good luck again um, what I'm reading from this is you made a choice uh, to follow your destiny because this is a destiny card and uh, because you made that choice you know karma is coming back to you in a good way it also represents the completion of a cycle so does this one too as well a lot of endings like I said in good ways 
Okay, what is the masculine bringing in? Wow. Oh, that's awesome. So this is a companion that you can trust. A loyal friend. And the Seven of Cups. So this represents having a lot of great options and you don't know which one to choose from. Um, and Spirit is asking you to use your heart uh, to guide you. So it's a, a reflection card. Um, but when you look deep down inside, you know who you can trust um, always. So he's making that realization, I feel, which is making his choice to follow his spiritual path. <laughs> uh, best one, I don't know. Okay. Wow. Foundation. We got the Divine Feminine. I'm going to leave that card as is. No. Nope. You know what? Yeah, let's pull one more. Justice. Nice. So, once again, karma will come back in a good way. Justice is being served. Crowning energy. Okay, that's interesting. So, this is a feeling of... Um, feeling like you're being deceived. If you don't know, you know what the whole truth is. You're kind of watching your back. Let's see what else. Ten of Wands. Okay, you're tired of feeling this way no more. So the Ten of Wands is a completion very similar to that. It's like putting down the bird and you're done. Um, and now it's really, it's time to reap the reward, basically. So, um, once again, ending. More endings. Completion of a massive cycle by the look of it. Okay, and the Heart-Centered Energy. Interesting. Okay, so this is purity. Um, this is speaking your truth uh, with a certain degree of honor. It has to do with memories and the past as well. So there's a sense of communication needing to happen or wanting to happen. So I'm going to pull two cards. First for the feminine, three of cups, and the eight of swords. Um, so once again, back to this card, this is all about um, having conversation uh, in terms of wisdom, you know what I mean, coming from a, an aged, uh, wiser standpoint, but it's all about honor, basically. Um, so the Three of Cups is a uh, union card, it's two people coming together to form a third energy, which is love, so it's celebrating love. So the feminine wants to communicate how she feels, how um, how this union makes her heart explode and she's um, excited about it. And the masculine um, feels like he's been locked by, you know, in this mental cage or prison and hasn't been able to express himself the way that he's wanted to. He's got a lot of wisdom that he wants to share, but, um, you know, it's almost like he wants to unlock himself from that, that prison, I guess. Okay. So I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy. Sun. Awesome. So the best major arcana, but it also puts a lot of good feels onto this card. Oh, ten of swords. Well, I'm glad it, um, it's putting good feels on this one because this is a dark card. Uh, the ten of swords but it is actually a really good card. The Ten of Swords is an ending, completion. It's feeling like, you know, you've been stabbed in the back ten times and you're left for dead. Um, but it's the end of anxiety, if end of fear. Um, you know, it's over now. The Ten is completion. So, uh, once again, we got another Ten, completion of exhaustion. The Ten of Wands talks about um, being in the machine and uh, just you know, burning the candles at both ends, basically. And the Ten of Swords is uh, the end of uh, mental noise. So, um, you know, this, basically. You know, deciding I don't want to feel that way anymore and just walking away from the, the negative. So completion to the sun. So you, you desire to be happy. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards from Miss and Mermaids.
Okay. Archimbolda mermaid. I have no idea what that means. And mermaid with a golden dragon. Oh, wow. The feminine got that last time. So, yeah, it's almost like the there's been a, a shift. So, 18. Okay, I'm not even going to try and say that name again. But the poem goes as so. Alone we drift, distractedly, <laughs> a party, drawn apart, together, we're invincible, a living work of art. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so at first, she's, pr she's a pretty mermaid lass, gazing soulfully within her large pale eyes. A closer inspection reveals the myriad of fish and other ocean dwellers that comprise her luxurious tale, combining to create a living work of art. Uh, the meaning is the sum of your parts. Lately you've been experiencing feeling a self-deprecation. Uh, maybe you've been studying your figure with dissatisfaction, uh, bemoaning the size of your feet. You need to stop the hypocritical analyzing before you sink any lower. You're so much more than a collection of your parts. Other people don't look at you um, through the lens of a microscope. It is unhealthy to do it for yourself. Concentrate instead on the beautiful person you are as a whole and treat yourself with love and affection. That's beautiful. Okay, number three. Mermaid with a golden dragon. A golden beast did I spy, while swimming aimless, idling by. What a treasure, what a prize, to capture my eager eyes. A pet to cherish, precious, bright, shining with such honeyed delight. Good luck, great fortune to adore, I'll guard my gold forevermore. A sweet young mermaid looks over her newfound treasure, a tiny baby dragon. His golden scales emit a radiance of wealth and prosperity as he nestles among the water lilies in the lake. Divination message. Look forward to prosperity. Good news. Your hard work and careful planning has soon, are soon to pay off. While it's exciting to contemplate your near success, it is important to keep your head. Remember that with wealth comes responsibility, and if you're not careful about your money, it may be gone soon. Uh, don't give into temptation to spend quickly and avoid falling victim to bad investments. Instead, remember your long-term goals and choose a path that is consistent with what you wish to accomplish in life. Just the same, it's okay to splurge a little. You deserve it. Nice. Okay, well, um, I hope this helped. <laughs> Much love, guys. Peace.